Alright, so I'll be making this video quick and informative on how to install shaders in Roblox. So I made the shaders and I also changed up how the keybind works, so it's Shift F2. I know that might not be the best keybind for Roblox for toggling on and off the menu, so I'll be showing you how to change that keybind later in the video. And thanks to Cydium for making the setup file, like the, the automatic setup. Uh, you can check them out on Discord. It's github.com slash Cydium. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not. But yeah, let's, I'll continue with the video. So I've dragged the setup to the, my desktop and I'll be showing you how to set it up. So you're gonna wanna double click on the de on the file and you're gonna want to just basically hit next all the way through. You're gonna want to accept the term, stuff like that. And then I have full. So you can choose what presets you're going to want to install or you can just do custom, but I recommend full. So just stick with that. Hit install and you can show details to show where it's extracting and stuff like that. So now everything's installed in the Roblox folders, but it doesn't mean the shaders are set up yet. You're going to have to activate the shaders. And I would appreciate it if you join my Discord server slash subscribe to my channel, but you don't have to select that. So now you're going to want to open up a Roblox game of your choice. I'll be opening up this game because it's pretty cool and it looks really good with the shaders. So Roblox now supports graphics 10 with shaders. So yeah, you, you can don't have to worry about setting your graphics to eight. So you can set it to 10 if you would like that. I'm just going to be using 10 because Roblox now supports that as you can see here. So once you're in a game, you're gonna want to press shift F2 on your keyboard and you're gonna want to skip the tutorial. And I'm going to select my ultra preset because that's the best I have. But if you want like super reflected, like if you want the game to be super reflective or if you want like just reflective or medium, or low, high, I have different preset options you can try out. I would play around with it and see what's the best for you. So this is my ultra preset. It's not too reflective, but it might be too dark for you. If it's too dark for you, you can turn down HD, you can turn off HDR or you can turn down the power of HDR here. You just gotta scroll that down, but I'm gonna leave it how it is. And if you want it to be pretty reflective in the game, like this, you can do that. I'm going to set it back to Ultra. So you can change the keybind to toggle on and off the menu by going to settings and clicking overlay key. I'm gonna set home on my keyboard because I have that key on my keyboard and to turn on and off the effect in real time, I'm going to set end. Now I'm gonna press home to close the menu because I changed the keybind and I'll close that with shift F2, that thing that popped up. So now you're in a game with the shaders successfully installed. I might be lagging because OBS is having a rendering problem, but yeah, you can see the shaders are installed, my point stands, you can turn on and off it in real time, and you can now install the shaders within seconds. If you're having any problems in the shaders, I would refer you to my Discord server or to the comment section below. If you join the Discord server, you'll most likely be able to get support faster. And uh, yeah, if this video helped you out or you found it somewhat enjoyable in any way, shape, or form, I would appreciate dropping a like maybe. Yeah. Thanks, that's pretty much all to the video. I'm probably just gonna maybe show some gameplay. I'm not too sure about that, it's kinda laggy. My PC's kinda suffering because, uh, yeah. But my actual FPS in game's not that bad. I'm getting 21 in this game I'm in right now. I can link the game in the description. Also, my computer specs will be listed below. And so would be the Discord server and stuff like that. All right, thanks for watching. Um, this is more optimized by Zeal Shaders, by the way. I just don't want to point that out there. It's more optimized than Zeal Shaders. You get more FPS and it looks a lot nicer. All right, thanks for watching. See ya, I'm out.